Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the FRP on your Samsung Galaxy A32. Okay, so you can see I have the Samsung Galaxy A32. I don't have any screen lock or uh, Google account here, so I'm going to quickly do it. I'm just going to go to Wi-Fi, I'm going to set it up, set up everything and I'm going to get back to you. Okay, now my phone is already um, working, which means <laughs> I have a screen lock set, uh, as you saw a moment ago when I was uh, unlocking it, and it also has a Google account. So now, if you'd like to get rid of your screen lock and the Google account because you for example, don't know it, um, then you'll need to do an FRP bypass. And now to do an FRP bypass, you'll need to uh, go to a browser and go to download on our website, hardreset.info, then go to Samsung drivers and download them. Once you download them, extract the file and once they are extracted, install and then you will be able to restart your computer. After restarting it, you can continue. Now, unfortunately, uh, the program that is used is paid, but I think it is still worth it because it's not that expensive and it can make your phone work again. So let's go to hardset.info slash frp dash tool dash ranking and then you can find the Octo Plus Samsung. You can see it is paid 29 US dollars for a free month license digital. So I think that's great. If you want to use it for longer, like if you're planning on unlocking more phones, I think it may be also pretty worth investing in a $100 dongle like this one. And, um, you know, this $100 dongle with uh, the $25 a year subscription. I think it comes out cheaper after some time, right? After like a year or so. Um, okay, now once we know everything, uh, we can uh, go to the uh, to the website and download the newest one. So you can see the newest one actually is released. Uh, we need to get the Octo Plus Samsung installer. So you can see the newest one is from 22nd of October right now. But if there's a newer one, you can of course download it, then install it and simply go to Octo Plus Samsung software. Once it is installed, it's going to open itself. I'm going to plug in my uh, dongle. So it reads all the stuff. I'm going to close it. I'm going to try again. I think it should be now discovered. Yeah, it went into the program. But if you have the digital license, you'll need to enter the activation key. Now make sure to select the correct model. Um, Basically, if you don't know your model, you can check it. Uh, so if you really don't know the model, uh, like because it requires the exact model mm, and you need to be pretty certain with it, uh, then you can uh, go to uh, like the recovery mode. And to do it, press and hold on power and volume down. Uh, then keep holding because you, ca you don't know the screen lock. And once the screen goes off, move your finger quickly to volume up while still pressing the power button. Then release the power button and keep pressing volume up uh, once Samsung logo appears until you get to recovery. But I forgot I need to have the cable plugged in beforehand, so I'll probably fail now. 
I mean, we need to do it anyway. We need to get to recovery anyway. I forgot. So, like, whatever you're doing, just get to recovery. So, let's try that again, I think. Mm, the phone's gonna turn itself on. It, it needs to have a cable plugged in, a cable that is connected to your computer. So, let's try again once the cable is connected. Press and hold power and volume down. And while doing so, like, keep holding. And after a moment, when, th when the screen goes off, move your finger from volume uh, down to volume up and keep holding until a Samsung logo appears on the screen. Then release the power button um, and keep pressing volume up. You should get to recovery that way. Yes, now we are in the recovery. And to check your moto, this is important. It's in this line. You can see this number. And the moto is followed by double X. So I have double X here, and before that is the moto. A, 3, 2, 6, B in my case. So that's what I need to select. Now let's reset our phone. To reset our phone, use the volume down button to go to a wipe data factor reset and click on the power button to approve. Go down to wipe data and click on power to approve. Wait a little moment, then click on Reboot System Now. Wait a moment until your phone reboots into the system. Uh, it's basically going to be reset, but it's going to have the, uh, the Google FRP, uh, which means that it requires your um, Google account to be entered before you can set up the phone. And since you most likely do know it if you're watching this video, then we're gonna use the Octo Plus Samsung software. But let's give it a moment. It's gonna load for a little while. Okay, you can see the phone is reset and ready to be set up. So I'll quickly just go through the language. Click on next. Uh, click on next. Uh, agree. And now you can see it says an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device, which means that our FRP is effective. It means that we cannot continue when we connect to the Wi-Fi. It's worth doing so, so it reads all the data, but we'll need to go back anyway. Although I'll do so just to make sure I've always done it like that, always connected to the Wi-Fi, waited for the phone to ask me for the Google account previously logged in and then went back and done it through a program or any different method depending on what the phone is. In this case, you can do it via a program. Um, we'll just need to wait a little moment. I'm going to go back to when it loads. Now, when this screen shows, it means that you need to click on use my Google account instead. It's going to load for a little bit moment longer. And you can see you can now continue because you don't know your Google account, right? So let's go back to the preview to the first page. Press and hold on power button. Tap on power off. Tap on it again. Unplug the cable if you have it plugged in. Keep the cable plugged into your computer, not yet to your phone, and keep pressing volume up and volume down at the same time. And while doing so, plug in the cable. Keep holding until you see this blue screen. Now, shortly, press on volume up. You're in the download mode. All you need to do now is on your application, click on reset FRP and select reset FRP, MTK download mode. Then click on proceed and it's going to begin. As you can see, it says it's connecting device in download mode and that it went successfully. It is going to take a little moment and once it's done, it's going to be ready. You can see it is done and let's wait. The phone is going to boot itself. I'm going to get back to you when it's done because it may take a little moment. So after a little moment, you can see we can uh, start setting up the phone and click on next. 
Next, agree. And now I believe that yes, we should be able to continue. We'll see that. Mm, if it fails, you can just repeat the process. But I believe that it should work since the program is quite good at what it does. Yes, uh, we went further. So, um, as I said, the program is really, really good and has lots of different models. There are other models on the channel. So if you're planning on buying the program and maybe trying some other models for your friends or someone else, then of course, some of them can be found on our channel. Um, there are different methods for different phones. Sometimes it's this easy one, but sometimes it's a difficult method, like for example, EDL. But for many models, it is possible. You can see them right here. Mm, there's a lot of them, but of course they have different methods. And yeah, mm, the worst one is EDL, to be honest. I'm gonna get it back to you when it loads. Okay, it's been loading for quite a while now. So I have an idea of disconnecting from the network. So we'll try to click on turn off Wi-Fi and skip. And I think that should help us um, with everything. Because it's been loading for a while now. So we'd rather skip that and connect to the Wi-Fi later, right? I think we can do it, no problem. Mm. Okay, next, finish. And I think it should be done. Um, gonna click on later. Okay, we are there. Let's go to settings. And now let's uh, connect to the Wi-Fi. We'll see everything should be back on working. Um, yeah, you can see our phone is unlocked. So I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.